Hey guys, Dogan here. Welcome back to another Minecraft video. Now, today's video is not that special. This is actually a challenge video. Uh, and this is basically something I challenged myself to make. Now, I haven't really seen any of these kind of circuits in Minecraft, so I challenged myself to build a circuit that can switch the position of these two blocks. So, the machine is right behind this sandstone wall. So, keep your eye on these two blocks. The blue wool is on top and the red wool is on the bottom. But once I press this button... Okay, it's a bit too fast uh, and my game is lagging a bit. But you can't see it clearly. But now look, the positions have been switched. If I press it again... Yeah, I bet you could see it right there. So if you go behind, you can see it's kind of huge. That's because uh, I, you know, I was just making this uh, without—I was just making this without, without a care in the world. You know, I wasn't really concerned about compacting this. I was originally going for a, a one-wide design, but I started to go off course, and yeah, I came up with this. Now, this is the fastest design I could come up with. You can see. Okay, so it's too fast for you to see what's happening. I'm going to explain how this works, but I'm going to turn down that bloody music for now. <laughs> um, yeah, okay, so it's not that compact. I have a one wide design, but before I show you that, I have to show you how this works. So here's how this works. Here's a little demonstration. So there's a torch here, which is causing these two pistons to push these blocks outwards. What happens is, when I press the button, a T flip flop turns this off and blocks it retracted back. So now what's going to happen is this piston right here, it's a sticky piston, it's going to receive a signal of one tick. Oh dear. Okay, there we go. And then what happens is now the red wool was actually on top, now it goes to the bottom. And then after this receives one tick, the piston on the bottom receives another one tick signal. There you go. It received another one tick signal, and then this block gets pushed outwards. Then the piston on the bottom, it gets a regular signal, and, it, and it's just a regular pis piston, so it pushes the block up. Then again, this piston gets another one tick signal, and by the time that happens, the T flip flop will reset, and it will push the block back. And that's basically what happens. So yeah, up here is my one wide design, so yeah, my earlier design wasn't this one, it wasn't that compact and I really didn't like that, it was really big and bulky and you know the best thing to do when your design is horrible and ugly um, is to compact it down and there are two ways of compacting, either by making it smaller or either by making it one wide. So now this is completely one wide, look at that one wide and a bonus this is tileable and i'll show you i'll show you a couple of these tiles next to each other and it's just amazing the interface okay so yeah the blue block blue wool is on top red wool is on the bottom if i hit this button <coughs> sorry <coughs> you can see it switched places there are a couple of things with this design it's actually slow this design is relatively faster because this one uses a hell lot of repeaters <laughs> it's kinda slow but that design is really fast and yeah and another thing is that design once you press the button it takes some time for it to happen because the current T flip flop I'm using actually takes um, actually only flip flops after the signal disappears so I have to wait until the button comes back um, Yeah. This design it works the moment you hit the button. So the input used to be here, but I was wondering uh, if this is tileable, then I'm not going to be able to give power this block. So instead, I move the input over here, which is not bad. But so you can see it fires incredibly fast. But another thing with this is that it actually fires twice, so that's that's a bad thing, so uh, you will see. It. 
So you see it fired it twice, and that's that's not bad, but it's time consuming. And it is about more than 20, 20 blocks big. But it's one wide, so yeah, that's a bonus. And another thing with this is that it actually uses a bud. So I needed a way to power this piston twice. So what it fires once, which gives the one tick signal uh, to this piston, and I wanted it to fire again. But the thing is, I couldn't I couldn't find a way to power it. Instead, I used this bud, and I think that's a bit dangerous because buds are prone to be removed. Uh, that's what I have heard. They said they're removing the bud. I'm not exactly sure. They didn't remove it in the 1.5 update, but I think they will soon. Okay, let's just fly over here. And you'll see this screen. And let's just do this. Okay. To prove that this is pileable. Just gonna turn my sound down. Okay. And there you go. Wow, that's a beautiful pattern. Okay, um, now let's do this. So you can't see the pistons moving or anything because it's a bit laggy. Okay, so let's try this one. There you go. There you go, there you go, there you go, there you go. Proof that this is tidal. Okay. Sorry about that guys, some people just can't enter a room without knocking. And if I press the button again. It should switch. There you go, awesome. So it's tidable and if you're wondering how I got to power this, it's actually kind of stretch. I had to use the 15 uh, redstone signal length signal strength thing and I had to basically carry the power all the way over here. Um yeah, I guess you could make a like a cool puzzle with this, maybe patterns, I'm not sure. This is basically completely useless. I haven't figured out a use for this. But I just thought it would be cool to make something like this. I have no idea why, but yeah, you know, it's a challenge. Everybody challenges themselves to do something. Yeah, okay, so that's all I wanted to show you today, guys. And if you want this, I'll put the MC Edit schematic in the description. You can go check it out, download it, maybe put it to some good use. This, yeah, put it to some good use, not some bad use. Okay, so thanks for watching. This is Dogam signing off. Don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe.